Hey, Foundry Groups, I get to start off our group's question asking about Hallmark Christmas movies. Uh, we have some big fans in my family. I know Matt is a huge Candace Cameron fan. I actually, he actually has a sweatshirt of her, um, uh, not full house, like full on Aurora Tea Garden sweatshirt. So it's shocking, really. Um, it's a woman's medium but that doesn't mean anything. So um, here we go. <laughs> He's going to be watching this like, dude, that wasn't in the questions. <laughs> All right, here we are. Um, so with holiday, uh, see the holidays upon us, Hallmark movies are out, and there is always a moment in the Christmas holiday, uh, Christmas Hallmark movies, where um, there's a twist that the characters didn't see coming. Uh, so here's the question. Do you love Hallmark movies because of the twist? Or do they drive you nuts because you know the twist is coming? If the twist is always the same, is it a twist or is it more of a, a slump? I don't know, but answer the question. And, um, and let's all just, you know, let's think of Matt in an Aurora Tea Garden sweatshirt. Yeah, I can see it. All right, answer the question. All right, discussion question time. Uh, you know, in an ironic twist, Matt also has the pajamas of uh, Aunt Becky from Full House, but not as her character, as Abigail from When Calls the Heart, another Hallmark victory. Um, uh, he has her prison pajamas, just gray and white striped, um, because she's in prison right now. Who would have thought Abigail would be in prison, but you can't get your daughter into USC unless she's got the grades. Remember that. All right, uh, discussion question number one, as Matt watches in prison pajamas. On the show Survivor, people are voted off one by one during a tribal council. The best part of the show is when someone gets blindsided. They think someone else is going home and a twist of fate sends them uh, home and they're distraught by it. Um, what movies or shows have you watched where you saw a moment that you, you like no idea it was coming, right? There were, you were just like, what happened? And you were overwhelmed, like the sixth sense or something like that, which still, that, that I still haven't figured that out. But anyways, what shows, what movies have you watched where a twist happened that you did not see coming? Talk about it. All right, question number two uh, this one is being asked in the voice of Ruby Herring, another Hallmark heroine who uh, Matt is a big fan of, and he likes to wear her sporty um, uh, pantsuits. So get that image in your head. All right, here we go. Here's a question. Describe a time in your life where something happened to you that you did not see coming. And make sure, once you do that, look down to that uh, addendum question and jump into that as well. So question number three, here's a little twist that I'm going to throw at you. I'm not going to answer it. Ask it. I'm going to have you go ahead and work your way through those because it's a super, super short question. But I think some of the follow-ups about your emotional experience following an unexpected uh, experience is really good. So go ahead and work your way through that. Twist complete. Question number four is, um, is being brought to us in the spirit of Danica Miller, I think her name is, what? Danica Keller, who is, uh, was Winnie on The Wonder Years. Aw, remember Winnie? Now she's Danica Keller. She was always Danica Keller, but then she, anyways, you know how that works. Uh, but now uh, this, this one is being brought to us by her character, A Crown for Christmas played, uh, it's sponsored by Hallmark, uh, this question is. And, um, and ironically, I saw Matt the other day after he went to Burger King. He was wearing the Burger King crown as he drove home, which was his crown for Christmas. Imagine Matt, prison PJs, Burger King crown. 
asking this question. How much control did you have in the unexpected situation? How much control did you have in this unexpected situation that you faced? This question was sponsored by Once Upon a Christmas Miracle. I think it's Hallmark's number one all-time Christmas movie. Enough said. How could there be enough said about that movie? It was so good. I've never seen it. Um, All right. How has a disruptive moment in your life shaped who you are today? And how has God worked in this or other disruptive moments in your life? Like what is the evidence what is some of the scripture? What are the things that transformed you out of that? How has God gotten to work in those disruptive moments? As you look back, like I did with my, with my kind of the opener for the teaching, how has that shaped who you are today? Question number six. Brought to you by Lifetime. What? The rival of Hallmark? Absolutely not. We will not let them sponsor this question. What moment are you in right now that is causing some disruption that you weren't planning on? And then this is a little extra twist out of it that I, I want to ask. Is there any evidence, if you pause the situation, you look at the disruption that you're in, is there any evidence of where God might be at work? And finally, question number seven, a standalone question that needs no sponsorship. Think about Joseph and how he responded. He loved God, he loved Mary, and he obeyed. How can you respond in the moments in your life right now to show love to God? I mean, he was faithful to God. He loved Mary and then obey. How can you respond in the moments of disruption you're in right now? How can you respond right now to show love and obedience and faithfulness to God? Foundry Groups, thank you for joining us. I will tell you this, um, my favorite Hallmark Mystery uh, series is Mystery 101. That's right. Um, I, I like that one. We've watched them. No, that's not why. Uh, no, boo. Um, no, it was very good. Yeah, that's right. I just booed Erica. Mm. Sorry. would like to apologize for booing her. But hey, have a great week. I hope your groups went great. And uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Grace and peace. <laughs>